all my friends, <laughs> all my LGBT and Q and others and Christians and all of that. Um, just want to say that I'm still vertical. <laughs> Um, and the Lord has just seen fit that I have to go through this medical stuff, but I'm on the mend. Yay! And, um, so anyway, just taking some time, uh, just going through procedures and stuff like that. So in the meantime, when I'm up to it, um, I've been trying to practice my guitar, and I think before I, um had what I do with that oh. huh okay well um well anyway so I'm taking my time here trying to look for my pick um so anyway I before I did this little diddly <clears throat> um and I didn't have any words to it, and my good friend A.M. said that I should put some words to it. So I've been having plenty of time, so I've been looking at different videos and Christian videos and and stuff like that, and um, especially about um, angels. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I don't know um, a lot about angels except for what the Lord has told us. I have not had a personal experience that I'm aware of. <laughs> However, the Lord has saved me quite a bit. Um, and whether angels were involved or not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I think I would know. And, and I think that, that I was saved, um, at one point. So, um, this is the, it, I, I'm calling this right now, Angels on High. Or angels in the sky okay all right so I don't have all the words quite memorized anyway it's just it's still a work in progress so just see what you guys think of it okay so <clears throat> angels in the sky reaching down to us sent from Lord up above The gentle hand, they save us. Jesus doesn't live on pages in a dusty book upon a shelf. He had got his son, and he takes care of every one of us. Angels in the sky, sent from heaven above to minister to us. in faith until the race is done until we see him face to face to face angels in the sky reaching out his hand so the Lord up above on his command on his command
something like that I'm working on it I'm not quite done but anyway what do you think of that um, I saw some stories uh, you know I don't know uh, these people and I don't know if they're they're true but they seem credible I mean it'd be kind of silly to make that you know make things up uh, one one lady um, claims that she had been very very ill in a lot of pain next thing she knows she's being carried off and she she cried out to God and she's being carried off to heaven by two angels and she sees God and she hears a multitude of people singing his praises as he's coming towards her and God gives her a choice to decide to stay or to go back and she had a husband a newlywed who was in Vietnam and she talks about him and how she was brought to where he was to see what was going on with him. And she had to decide to stay with the Lord or to come back to earth. And she had to decide quite quick because right then a grenade was thrown into his area. And he was next to a couple other guys too. And she could swear she saw the hand of God or angels protecting him and the grenade was a dud and later much later after she recovered and he got back and she says to him was there ever a time that you felt that this was it this was the end and he said yes somebody had thrown a grenade but it was a dud so I was like wow and that kind of got me started on the song and then there was another story of a young man who, he was just a kid, maybe seven, eight years old. He was going to cross the street on his bike. But before he did, he was nudged and he felt the hand knock him over and a car went by just at that moment. And he lived on to live his life, a very productive life. And he was a runner and I used to like to run so I can identify with that. And uh, just a great kid and, and uh, you know, by his life, he, you know, was able to show the world um, the Lord. And he wrote the Lord a really nice message of how grateful he was to be alive and, and for all the great and wonderful gifts that he had been given. So anyway, that gave me the impetus for this song. And uh, so I'm still working on it. Um, if you like it, put a thumbs up. If you think I should keep going with it, let me know. Um, hope it's a blessing. Okay, love you guys. And stay well out there. Thank you for all your prayers. Um, and I uh, hope to see everybody soon. Okay, bye-bye.